What's up guys? I'm Randall. Welcome to the Grunt Proof Dungeon. I finally found a reflective survival blanket or tarp that is grunt proof. It's not too bad of a price either. You may have seen my numerous videos where I tested some of the bigger name brands and absolutely destroyed them. That's mainly because they will promote themselves as being used as a shelter. As it turned out in those videos, you cannot use them as a shelter, at least not in any kind of harsh weather conditions. Most of their YouTubers would put it up in a lean-to style. Some of them did an A-frame, but it was nice and dry and sunny when they did it. If you set that thing up in high winds, it's going to get destroyed. Many of you guys have asked in the comments if I found one that is actually tough. Well, here you go. This is the Bushman Thermal Tarp. They make all kinds of cool products. One of you guys got me onto this product. I can't remember who, but if you're watching this, thank you. This is a three by three meter tarp. It comes in a few other colors and it has a reflective inside. At the time of purchase, mine cost about 79 euros. That's just over $90. So considering that it is grunt proof and it does work and reflect heat, I would say that's a pretty damn good price. I've set it up in many configurations. I've played with it a lot and I've actually beat it up pretty bad. We did the weighted hang test, as you can see here. This survived the weighted test. I've used it in the rain. I've used it in the snow. I actually put it in an A-frame shelter and left it overnight in the snow. Didn't go out there and knock the snow off and it did not collapse, nothing ripped. And guess what? If you put this in my favorite body bag tarp configuration, where you make an A-frame and you have some of the floor come down, this actually radiates heat pretty well. As with all my tarps, I love the three by three meter design because that gives you plenty of room to work with. One thing I noticed when I received this is it smelled extremely funny. I don't know if it's some cheap coating they put on there or maybe it's the color they used. I'm not sure. So I actually hung it out, let it air out for a little bit and it's been fine ever since. Even though you do see some threads popping up here, that's kind of like on our army uniforms, you just have some excess. That's actually not anything ripping. As you can see, there's at least triple threading here, and there's a lot of double stitching all over this thing. I have to say though, one fail is their freaking stuff sack. This is always the biggest complaint for us outdoor guys, especially if you're trying to pack up in a hurry and you don't have time to roll up things perfectly. I even tried to roll this up nice and neat to put in their tiny little stuff sack. I ripped the bottom completely out. If anybody who knows the Bushman guys and you're watching this, make a freaking better stuff sack. That was an absolute joke. The weight is 790 grams. It has 19 loops, including some over the center line where you would make an A-frame. That's plenty of loops, which is very similar to my DD tarp. The material is a polyester 190T, and it also has ripstop in there. So one of my major complaints with all the other emergency and casualty blanket companies, they need to find a way to put ripstop in there and that will help. This actually has ripstop, so if I were to put a hole in it, it would at least survive the rest of my trip. Or it could survive at least until I can get a patch on there. So tough polyester, nylon, and ripstop. They actually include a 10 meter or 30 foot cord with it. It's pretty cool because you could just throw it in your bag. You could throw it in whatever you pack this up in. You barely notice it. I, however, like to keep my guy lines attached to whatever tarp I'm using. This is your loop and this is one of the corner loops that I've put stress on. As you can see, they have triple stitching all along the side and right here where your loop is, they have an extra stitch there reinforcing that corner. They don't have any of that extra reinforcement material, but it hasn't stopped it from ripping, even in the weighted hang test. Notice that the loop is included in the rest of the material that goes down the tarp. So there's no need to reinforce this because it is part of the tarp itself. This is what the reflective material looks like and it is ripstop all throughout. If you're curious about my thermal defense test video where we put a thermal device on me and I use multiple products to hide from that device, there is a part two coming on that, so stand by for that. But I did try this in that video and it did okay. Most of these larger tarps, you can divide them up into thirds or three sections. So in every third section, you have an extra reinforced nylon strip going across it. That has multiple threads going through there. I'm counting at least four and it's double stitched all the way through. It is seam tape. So I guess if you wanted to make this even better, you could get your own glue or seam sealant 
and put it down there because this is essentially just tape. You can actually pull on that and separate it and expose the threads. I have not had any issues with it so far, but that is one point for long-term use. I'm probably going to get some seam seal myself and go all along this. So all in all, the Bushman Thermo Tarp is an excellent product. Besides the crappy stuff sack, it is an absolute pass. The stuff sack is the only recommendation I would have to them besides maybe gluing their seam tape down. Other than that, the Bushman Thermal Tarp is grunt proof. Well, that's it guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your thoughts were down below. Be sure to like and subscribe and until the next video, I will see you guys in the outdoors. Take care of yourselves.